Hello everyone, welcome back to Bandit's Damned FM with me, my name's Chris, hope you're all doing well. We've got the next two games of this uh, playoff group doodah today. We're playing On Thick Aldas for the second time and Alianza Petrolera for the first time. Uh, we currently sit in second place, we lost the last match of last episode to Deportimus Tolima, uh, really, really poorly, 3-1 loss. We're going to get straight into the games because I'm, I want to finish the season. I really want to finish the season, so... We do have all of our players back. We beat Anthe Caldas last time out, 2-0. Look, we're so tired. We're so tired. Pereira is going to have to come out for Colorado. Cannot play. Oh, my word. Right. Hang on. Hang on. This is the best we can do. We're so tired. So, Valencia is coming for Vargas. We've got Bello back, out right, back at right back. Diaz is coming for Navarro in the attacking midfielder. at the want to play, make a role. Silver out on the right side of Guerra because Guerra is, uh, is exhausted. Colorado is not featuring. He's also exhausted. Uh, Omar Bartel remains injured. We're not going to see him for the rest of the season. And then our bench also looks pretty bloody tired. Uh, we do have Joaquin Galesio on there as a sort of really, really last resort backup defense guy. And then Gerson Misa again. He's also quite a bit of a, a bit of a backup. But yeah, this is um, this could be tough. This could be tough because we're so knackered. So very, very tired. Yeah, I want to see more from you tonight. The last game out was really, really disappointing. Really unhappy with it. Uh, hopefully, given that we've already beaten Ante Caldas like four times this season or something, we'll beat them again. We won't have to worry about it. And hopefully, Deportes to Lima, which is already 1-1 after five minutes. Hopefully, that game will finish in our favour as well. Bello on the ball finds Angulo. Goes back to Bello. Bello's sitting quite narrow for a, for a fullback there. Um, I don't quite know why that would be. Marino, Angulo, finds Silver on the right. Silver's got a bit of space to run into. Goes back to Marino. Rara in the middle of the park. Finds Diaz, who finds Sakar. Sakar turns his man. Brilliantly, actually. Very well played from Sakar. Finds Diaz. Oh, he's at the cross work. Cross work. The cross bar. If we eat the woodwork much more, I'm gonna cry. It was the woodwork that stopped us from equalising the last two games. We had two shots come off the post. Both of them. Same post as well. That post had it in for us. But four shots, none on target so far. But we are having more of the ball. I'm going to go positive, I think. See if we can get uh, a little bit of attacking impetus going. Because we're having a lot more of the ball and doing nothing with it. Corner, Mendes swings it in. It's cleared as far as Valencia in the end. Or Paz, rather. One's bent, not that bent, surely. Sunset, Suarez, Garcia. He's in. It's a good block. Stop him. Oh, he shot over the bar. Garcia. Stop him. Stop him. Stop him. Can you imagine the manager on the sideline shouting that? Stop him. Uh, right. We're knackered. None of our players are very fit. But then, nor are theirs. I am going to have to make some subs, though. So, we will have Gerson Mircer on for uh, Herrera. Yeda Valencia is coming off for Quinones. One David Diaz has to stay out there because we've got no other choice. And, yeah. I think everyone else has to stay out there as well. Santiago Silva is not having a good game on the right hand side. I should have put Terra Nova on the bench, but I didn't because I'm stupid. Right, second half. Here we go. Oh, we haven't had any shots on target. None at all. I'm going to go attacking. Is that because we've got Sakar up front? Probably. Is Ramos fit enough to come on for a little bit? Yes, he is. Ruben Ramos is coming on because Ruben Ramos can at least hit the bloody target. Right, first highlight of the second half. Marino mm, over, over again. Eight shots, none on target. I need to figure out, I've said this, I think, the episode before last, I need to figure out what it is about our shooting. Is it that we're not creating good chances, or that we're just snatching at the chances that we are getting? Petrolera are beating Deportes to Lima, 3-0. We, we have had no shots on target this entire game. I've done nothing to fix that as well. Our defence has been really good, but we've had no shots on target. None. Like, what... What? Nationale are really comfortable. Although they haven't played their next set of games yet, so let's see how they get on. I can't believe we've only got one day's rest between these matches. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. There's no chance for our players to get like to get any sort of decent rest. Not even a recovery there because we've got to travel. I can't believe this. <laughs> I can't believe how tired they all are. Guess Amis is going to have to come in for Pereira because he's just not fit. One David Diaz is going to have to stay in. Valencia, I think, are going to have to have Galiso. 
we just I need to get some of these players back with some sort of fitness, especially going into a, like a, what's going to be a really tough game against uh, Deportes Tolima in the next episode. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I can't make too many changes up top because I need Valencia to play and I need Ramos to play. Otherwise, we don't score goals. Look, look at the the, the imbalance in the in the goals compared to the rest of the team. Although Guerra's got three, Guerra's at right back uh, out of necessity. Um, yeah, right. So we've got some some youngsters on the bench now as well. We've got Terranova on there, Alvarez, Omar Pereira. We could probably do with Hurtado as well as an attacking option. Carvajal's not ever played for me. Well, he has actually. That was a lie. Right. That's the best we can do, I think. Let's go out. We're going to go attacking for this game. I'm bored of one not winning and two not scoring. So we're going to go attacking from the off. Let's see what happens. We're away from home. We need some goals. <laughs> we we do we just need some goals. I'm not ready for the season to be over. Damn it! <laughs> so get some goals. Valencia and Ramos. I'm relying on you boys. Right, right. Here we go. First highlight of the game goes our way. Colorado in the middle of the park. Find Misa in in the end. Valencia out on the left. Tall, lanky Valencia cuts inside, takes the shot. It over. Maybe I just need to do a solid week of uh, chance conversion. You know, it's a great tackle. Yeah, just an entire week of chance conversion training. Nothing else. All we do is shoot and try and score goals for a whole week. Navarro finds Ramos. He's made a great run. Ramos chips the keeper. It's 1-0. Ruben Ramos. Ruben Ramos. What a player. What an absolute player he is. Brilliant stuff. There's lovely football from us as well. Guerra cuts inside to Navarro. Navarro with a wonderful ball. Finds Ramos and then Ramos one touch chips the keeper. The keeper's all over. Chunga is all over the place. Brilliant. Brilliant. See that attacking play. That attacking play. Although it could also be playing into uh, our team being absolutely knackered. We've had two shots on target, people. Two shots on target. Anthony Caldas and Deportes Tolima is nil-nil, which is very good for us. Diaz stands over this free kick. Swings it in, or lofts it in rather. Ramos at the back finds Mesa. Mesa for his very first goal, I think, for the club. And he's, a, he's an academy product as well. Lovely. Brilliant. Two goals. Two goals. Like, but, um, mm, Ramos to Mesa. Mm, lovely. Lovely stuff. Right. I am. I'm going to slow things down. I'm not going to press so much like the triggering of the press rather. But I want to slow things down a bit, try and keep the possession, dribble less, play a passing game, try and reserve some energy levels. Now that we're two nil up, try and reserve some energy levels. Quintana collects that ball easily. What's he gonna do with it? He's gonna roll it to Vargas. Vargas with that lower tempo, the passing game, we're just gonna keep hold of the ball, force them to come at us, force them to use the energy so that we can keep ours, Valencia, Making an excellent run. Takes his shot. Yes, it's three now. Come on, right. We're also going to go uh, balance now. And we're going to, yeah, waste a bit of time. Why not? 25 minutes on the clock. We're three nil up. We really do not to be using all of our energy. What a goal. So, was that Sakar with the assist? It was. Sakar on that right. Maybe Sakar's best position is out on the right-hand side. Valencia shoots past the keeper. He's got no chance. Chunga has got no chance. Right, so... Deportes de Lima beat us 3 1. Uh, Alianza Petrolera beat them 3 0, I think. So, does that mean we're now able to beat Deportes de Lima, who have just gone a goal down to Onthe Caldas? Come on. Things are looking rosy all of a sudden. If it stays like this, all we'd need is a pretty, is like a draw in our last game. As long as the goal difference works in our favour. Valencia on the left hand side finds it. One David Diaz back to Valencia. Navarro, and it's 4-0. Oh, it's Sakar. I thought it was Navarro who got the goal. Sakar with his fourth goal of the season, I think. 4-0 before half-time. We've got nothing to worry about. That was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Valencia to Diaz. And then Diaz back to Valencia. Valencia with a lovely cross. Sakar gets above. It's because Navarro's nameplate cropped up and Sakar's disappeared. It looked like Navarro, but it was not. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff. Come on. Yes. Right, what does it look like elsewhere? Yeah, good. Good. It looks good elsewhere. Deportes to Lima at the bottom. Get in. That. Right. Right. Got a lot of shots on target. I am happy. Is there anything we can do tactically to try and save some energy levels? Let's have 
Terranova can apparently play at left back. Not very well. He's got a tackling of four. Do I want a 15-year-old left back? <laughs> no, I'll rephrase that. Do I want a 15-year-old right back with a tackling of four to play at left back for me in quite an important game? No, I don't. No, I don't. So Carl's picked up a knock, so I'm going to take him off. Terano no, Alvarez is going to go on the right-hand side because I've played Alvarez before. Uh, one David Diaz, I think, is just going to... No, Bello. I'll put Bello out there. But as a inverted wing-back on defend. There we go. And then we'll have Valencia as an inside foot sword. Inside forward on support. Drop him back a little bit. Uh, yeah, again, we don't need to be really running around. If we can even lower the tempo even, sl even slower, then great. You know, we don't need to be wasting our energies. Uh, Valencia, I think, will actually come off for Quinones. Navarro can come off for Hurtado. Give him a get, give him a debut. Um, yeah, because we're, we're well up in this game. And uh, we don't really want to be um, taking any risks. We don't want to be taking any risks with, uh, with injuries or anything silly like that. Uh, I just want to see this out in a boring way for the second half, although we're playing very, very nice football right here. Uh, Guerra doesn't quite get to that ball. Torres for them. Valencia nearly nips in. What was the point of that highlight? It just, it was a lovely little passage of play and then it ended. <laughs> don't understand. Colorado looking very tired. Do we have another midfielder on the bench? We don't. We do have Eric Valencia though, who I'm going to put in there. Why not? Screw it. And then I think Ramos, we don't have any more subs. That's fine. That's fine. Deportes to Lima are still 1-0 down. That is really good for us. Really, really good for us. If that could stay that way, as well, that would be handy. Right, we're going to waste even more time now. Be more disciplined. Play for set pieces. We don't need to do anything. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with just having the ball, not letting them have it, not running around like lunatics, trying to keep some sort of fitness in in, in us. Uh, Caldas are going to win. They've scored a second. Caldas are definitely winning. Great stuff. Right. Good. Much, much better from us this episode, I think. Well done. That was a good win. There, then, is the league table. Uh, Atletico Nacional on seven points they could still not they could they could not go up which would be really good for us i'd, I'd much rather play Cucuta, cucuta deportivo or junior fc you know that's assuming that we get through as well so yeah looking at it we've got a pretty good goal difference i would be happy with a draw provided that whoever wins out of the you know a, a couple of draws in our next games up it would be okay i think but really really all we need all we need to do is beat Deportes to Lima and then beat Alianza Petrolera again and we'll be fine. I really want to beat Deportes to Lima because they have done us every time. I really want to beat them. Really, really want to beat them. That is going to be the next episode. We were going to, we're going to try and beat Deportes to Lima. We're going to hopefully beat Alianza Petrolera again and then maybe we'll have the final which will be its own separate episode. Thank you so much for watching this one though. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. Throw it down in the comments and I'll see you soon for another episode of The Manager's Journey here at Milanarius. All the best. Cheers. Bye.